What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodeMe.com and in this video, we're going to fix a timer sleep buffering problem with Python. Alright guys, like I said in this video, we're going to fix a timer sleeping buffering problem with Python. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership with all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Alright, so I'm mixing things up a little bit here, creating a new playlist, and this playlist is going to be called Weird Python Stuff. or weird Python tips or something like that. So I get questions all the time that are very specific from people that watch my videos and students about just weird Python problems that they're having. And they don't really fit any sort of playlist or tutorial that we're working on at the time, but sometimes they're pretty interesting. I thought, hey, let's just create a little playlist here on the YouTube channel and knock out some weird videos as they come in from time to time. This is not going to be like a daily, weekly, monthly type thing, just sort of as people send me weird questions about Python, I'll answer them here. So if you want to ask a weird question, or if you want to be notified whenever these come out, head over to my website, codemy.com forward slash weird dash Python dash tips, and just enter your first name and your email address. This will put you on a mailing list. I'm not going to spam you or anything. You'll just be notified whenever one of these new videos comes out. You'll also be given instructions automatically when you sign up for this on how to submit your own questions, your own weird Python things that you want answered. So if you're into this, I'll make more of these videos. If you guys aren't, we'll just sort of stop doing this, but ah, it might be fun. Ah, like I said, there's always weird little Python things that pop up. And I thought this might be a fun way to play around with some of those. So this first video comes from a question somebody asked me this morning. I won't say their name because I don't know, maybe that's weird. So the problem is Python has a time library and you can use that to sort of pause things in your programs, set little timers, things like that, but it can get weird. So let me just show you what I'm talking about. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the sublime text editor and the get bash terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in the series. There aren't any yet, but there will be soon. So check that out if you want to. So I've got a file, I'm just calling it timestuff.py. I'm saving it in my C slash weird Python directory that I created a little bit ago. And the first thing we want to do is just import time, right? This imports the Python time library. I'm pretty sure this comes with Python. You don't have to pip install anything, right? So let's just print something onto the screen. And let's print the word before. And let's also print the word after, right? So what we want to do here is print this before. Then we want to pause our program for a few seconds. Let's say three seconds. Doesn't really matter. And then after that pause, we want to print out after. Well, normally you would do this by calling the time library. And this is time dot. And then you would say sleep. And then let's say we want this to sleep for three seconds, right? So very simple. Print this to the screen, wait three seconds, and then print this one. Well, this is what happens when you do that. If we go ahead and save this, head over to our terminal. And if we run Python time stuff dot by, we see it pauses, 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 boom, and then it prints them both out. So if we count 1001, 1002, 1003, boom. So what it's doing is it's waiting the three seconds, but it's not printing this out first. Well, the reason why this is happening is because Python has an output buffer, right? And we don't really care what that is, but basically it waits till everything is ready and then does it all at once, which is probably not what you want. So there's a couple of different ways you can fix this. One way is to just run your file unbuffered. So we can go Python dash U for unbuffered, I guess. And then, you know, do our same time stuff dot pi. Now we get before one, two, three, boom, after. So that works. And that works great. That will work most times. Well, if you're compiling this into like an executable file, probably not a great solution, right? So, you know, if you're just running these files, that will work. Another way to do it is inside of your print function here. Uh, since Python, I want to say 3.3, we've had this flag in the print function that you can call called the flush flag, right? So we can set flush equal to true. So this will flush out our buffer right there instead of having to call the dash u flag when we run this thing. So now we can go Python time stuff dot pi and we get before one, two, three, boom, after. So either way you want to do it, that should work. And just really any time you're going to use a timer, a sleep function, if you want stuff to happen before, you could just slap this dot flush thing on it. A lot of times that will work. If you're doing something else besides print, I don't know if you can get away with that. Probably not. Play around with it and see. Uh, but either way, you can always just call, like we did, Python 
dash u time stuff dot pi. And if we say uh, disable output buffering, something like that, that will work too. There are probably other ways you can mess around with standard input output in Python if you really want to get to the bottom of this, but I think these two methods will work most of the time for most people. So we'll just sort of kind of leave it at that. So if you guys are into this, head over to codemu.com slash weird dash Python dash tips, sign up for the newsletter. You can unsubscribe at any time. I'm not going to get spammy and start sending you tons of email. I'm just going to send you an email anytime I have one of these videos to share with you, let you know. When you subscribe, you'll also be given instructions to submit your own weird questions to me about weird Python tips. So if you have some weird Python thing you can't figure out and you want to ask me about it, you'll get instructions on how to do that when you sign up for this newsletter. And uh, yeah, should be fun. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership, plus access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.